Braga Street is a street in the center of Bandung, Indonesia, famous in 1920s colonial Indonesia as a promenade street. A European ambience of chic cafes, boutiques, and restaurants along the street propelled Bandung to attain the Dutch nickname Paris van Java. Braga Street begins on a T-junction with Asia Africa Street, running north until the city council. The first grocery store in the city, De Vries, opposite Braga Street. The first name of the street was Karweg. The city residents dubbed it Petitiweg, from the Indonesian language of horse-drawn carriages, because it was a narrow street that only carriages could pass through. The street was built only to connect the major Great Post Road with a coffee warehouse, owned by a Dutch coffee plantation owner Andries de Wilde. In 1856, when Bandung was the capital of Priangan Regency, some colonial houses were built along the dirt road of Braga Street with their houses thatched with reeds, along along grass or other straw materials. The Toniel Braga Musical Drama Group in 1882, a theatre group established itself at the south part of the street and the Toniel Braga, the name of the drama group, became famous. Residents flocked into the street to watch the group's performance every night and therefore the road was improved by stone pavements and oil lamps were installed. The street was at that time popularly known as the Braga Street. In 1884, a railroad connecting Batavia to Bandoing was laid down and the city core grew rapidly. New buildings filled the southern end of the street while the northern end was still a rubber tree forest. The street became more famous with a grocery store named De Vries which sold daily needs for plantation owners. Hotels, banks, cafes and restaurants were opened and the street transformed into a major shopping street. In the early 20th century, the street was the most important European shopping street in the Dutch Indies. Several well-known Western companies opened their stores in the street, including Chrysler, Plymouth and Renault car distributors. Colonial bookstores, watches and jewelry retailers and boutique shops were common in the street for the high society. Aerial view of Braga Street in 1947 Dung Murtica during the 1955 Asian African Conference in the 1900s, along with the Dutch East Indies government plan to move the capital from Batavia to Bandung. The government included Braga Street into part of town planning. In 1906, the city council began replacing stone by asphalt and applying a new rule of designing new buildings at the street. Art Deco buildings began to decorate the street and about 50% of which are still present with their original architecture. Starting from the south entrance, the Gdung Murtica stands at the corner, known as the venue of the 1955 Asian African Conference. Built in 1895 as a clubhouse for the wealthy, the building was first named as the Concordia Society. The building was renovated twice in 1920 and 1928, the last of which was designed by two Dutch architects, Van Galen Last and C.P. Wolf Showmaker. It is now used as a museum of the conference. At the southeast corner of the cross-section between the Narapan Street, an eight-stories building is noticeable for its distinctive ocean wave style. Designed by Dutch architect A. F. Albers in 1936, the radical modern architecture building was used for the Dennis Bank. Albers applied the Amsterdam school architectural style with its strong expressionism dialect, shown by the rounded curves along the horizontal side and one vertical facade in the middle. But he put also the modernist architecture for the interior design. The building is still used as the headquarters of a regional bank, the Bank Jabar. Media related to Braga Street at Wikimedia Commons. Thanks for watching.